just to give you kind of a sense of the overarching vision first of this JROC recommendation that came out really at a very high level, what we are setting out in that report um, is that we really want to move open banking from its current phase into a next phase um, that focuses much more on putting it on economically sustainable footing. Now, to do that, what we want to do is leverage new functionality um, so that it can drive further innovation in the sector. Um, but to do that, a number of things need to hold true. Um, for payments, we want to work towards building open banking up so it can be that competitor uh, against other payment methods, including cards. Um, there's three things that you need to get there. You need the functionality that, are, that, that you need to actually make that payment, and that's where VRP can really come in. But you also need the two other elements that Raphael already touched on. So you will need clear principles around what happens when something goes wrong with that payment, who's liable, who do you speak to to get your money back? And you will need clear principles around how you can price for the products that people are using and whether or not the question there then is, does that incentivize further innovation and um, further investment in that product so I can continue to improve and meet changing needs? That's really the ambition. Um, because VRP is already existing functionality in the market, although somewhat limited to me-to-me uh, -me payments at the moment, mm -hmm. um, what we want to do with VRP is really test that idea of encapsulating pricing, liability protection, and functionality principles into a singular agreement by using VRP to to test whether or not we can we can then widen that out to retail payments over account to account more generally. Um, and we want to do that quite quickly. Um, so the JROC report itself sets out that um, JROC members will publish a terms of reference for a working group really looking into these topics this quarter um, for that working group then to come back to the Joint Regulatory Oversight Committee uh, by the end of Q3 this year with a proposal for how VRP could be rolled out um, and this can start becoming a reality. Mm -hmm.